Rangers welcome back Paul Gascoigne and Brian Lardrop who missed the European match against Ozer in midweek. Trevor Stephen and Eric Bo Anderson are joined on the bench by Golan Petric. And also missing are Joachim Bjorklund, George Alberts and Peter van Bossen. So the Ibrox resources are stretched to the full, but that gives an opportunity for 19-year-old Scott Wilson to make his league debut. Remarkably, he has two and a half European Champions League matches behind him, and that has established the young man from Edinburgh as a defender of immense promise. Still no John Hughes on the hip side, he's suspended, but jockey Scott's other new signing, Rab Shannon, has recovered from injury, and Kevin Harper also returns after missing last week's victory over Motherwell. The man who won that match for Hibs was Darren Jackson with two goals. The last time he played here at Ibrox four weeks ago, he left the field to a standing ovation after his efforts for Scotland against Sweden. He won't expect that today. And a very experienced referee for the match this afternoon, Mr Jim Herald from Newton Mertens. Another huge crowd inside Ibrox as Rangers try to avenge their only defeat against domestic opposition this season that was at Easter Road eight weeks ago when Ebbs beat them by two goals to one so a score to settle without doubt after that Ebbs battling very hard indeed players determined to ensure that Jockey Scott is appointed manager and the tactical formation adopted by Ebbs appears to leave Darren Jackson up front on his own at the moment flood the midfield Derek McEwen's with a pass for David Robertson. His pace gets him to the byline. Good header away by Shannon. Here's McInnes again who started that move with an excellent pass. Confident play by Dow against Ferguson. Supported well by Shannon. Purposeful start though by Rangers. Rangers with a new back three. Scott Wilson, Richard Goff and Craig Moore. Three several defenders. Gascoigne. Involved in the match for the first time. Moore taking a chance to come forward. That's a fine pass. Here's Lodra. Running straight into Wilkins and escaping his clutches. This is Gascoigne. Understanding the involving Lodrop and Greg Shields. Keith Wright using his pace on the left hand side, but a misunderstanding there with Jackson. Lodro again in possession. That's from a coist. Allowing the angle to close down on him. Great play again though by Lodrop. Now looking for Keith Wright to make a run on the left touch line. So Keith Wright starting the match way on the left hand side. Just trying. Low drop wanted a well played short. Apologies. The pass from Gascoin. Jim Layton, eight shutouts in 16 matches for Hibs this season. Terrific record. Miller picks out Jackson. The layoff finds McGinley. Off goes Keith Wright. Good play from Hibs. And Andy Gorham judged the bounce very well indeed, but Keith Wright caused a problem there, bursting through the middle. McInnes. Loudrop. David Robertson is in the forward position. Here he goes. Very well tackled indeed by Hunter. Well, Rangers really allowing the players to move into all sorts of unusual positions. This is certainly unusual for David Robertson, but his pace got him again to the byline. Good recovery work by Hunter. It's a good header by Young Wilson. Delaying the forward pass too long. All well, the Rangers crowd in good humour, notwithstanding the European disappointments. Concentration now on the league championship. McKinnis to Lodra. 
Back again with McInnes, who has seen a great deal of the ball in the opening stages. That's for McCoy. East is away. Brilliant play from McCoy. The hips are carved wide open here, and Derek McInnes playing a key role again. That's a superb pass, but the turn by McCoy is away from Millen, left him for dead. Here's Wilkins again. Playing with calm authority at the moment of midfield. Shannon. Jackson's dummy didn't quite come off, but he's right. Here's Wilson. Now Gascoigne. Wilson with a return pass for Gascoigne. Too many hips blows around him. Well, turning to a very interesting match indeed. Hibbs dead in here in the middle of the field and tries to tie Rangers up there. And look to use the pace they have up front, undoubted pace Hibbs have with Harper and Wright and Jackson. It's always a menace in the counter attack. Here's Ian Ferguson for Rangers. All word of could do. Shannon. Misjudged there by Keith White. Here's Gascoigne. Good interception by Millen. Harper playing that through for Darren Jackson. A great chance for him. Jackson against Gorham. Beating the keeper. That's right. It's a brilliant goal from him. Jackson did all the hard work. 21 minutes of the first half gone. And the new emerging confidence in Darren Jackson in a striking position demonstrated here. Great pass from Harper getting behind Scott Wilson. Jackson against goal, an international teammate. Confident play by Jackson. Stead up well there to this. Spotted Keith Wright. And the finish was good enough. Great play by Jackson. Here's David Robertson. Plenty of cover there for Gascoigne's run. Millen and Hunter together. Now David Robertson. Loud up stepping away from the Guinea. Good ring again by Robertson. A chance! Offside of one count. Been chopped off. And it was really a terrific finish by David Alan Seaton from Kilmarnock is the linesman. The flag was up instantly when this ball was released by Loudrop. It's a great pass. And Robertson just ahead of the defence. And that superb finish did not count. Well, the kind of break which teams battling in the middle of the league sometimes don't get, like Hibbs. McInnes again, the ball in the build up. Gascoigne has found space. McCoy, Stanford Ferguson. Couldn't get power on the shot of the top. Another promising move from Rangers. Gas going to the heart of it all again. Looking up to assess the options. Playing that towards McCoy. He helped it on for Ferguson. Trying to find Keith Wright, the interception was made by Wilson. Now goes back here, here's Shields. Loudrop again. I think they're touching the ball just before it reached Gascoigne, that's what put him off. Loudrop again, playing it in early this time, not going in one of those runs. Perhaps a touch by Hunter before Christ. Wilson again, the gas going down, he didn't come on. That's Wilkins. Dow finds Jackson. Well held up. Larry McKinnis coming all the ground the other Rangers. Came back an awful long way there to 
intercept that pass from Wilkins. Deep in his own half. Goff is well forward. Here's Lodra. Goff makes his way into the penalty area looking for the cross. Taking on Rob Shannon, twisting and turning to find space for the cross. The low ball met there by Gascoigne. What a relief for Leighton. Gascoigne under pressure from Wilkins. Here's Harper on the bus from midfield. He's very quick. Good running by Harper. Seemed to be fouled by Moore. The hip foot certainly blocks up. Referee Hill shakes his head. Rangers come clear. Well, if Rangers score off this counter attack, Hips will be livid. Good play by Loudra. Crashing down by McGinley. No, says the referee. Play the ball first. And Jackson is offside. Well, that's a very interesting attack this from Hips. Kevin Harper at great pace here. Did Moore make contact? Well, looked as though he did. The referee thought not. Good running by Wilson. Ferguson. He flies up for Rangers. Ferguson takes the congratulations. But Scott Wilson played a vital part in this. Surging forward here. Teeing this up for Ferguson. Was deflected on the post. Came off Gordon Hunter. That's what made it impossible in the end for Jim Layton. It set the hit with tremendous power away from the keeper and the hips luck has run out to defence with McInnes the shot blocked and Miller breaks Harper to Jackson that's well, good play by Jackson Cross in for right, and Scott Wilson did well in the marking roll. Keith Wright just inches away, they have a good connection in front of goal. That's what gave him his space. The first touch let him down. Harper's cross, a very good one in that dangerous area. And dealt with extremely well by Wilson. Was from McGinley for Harper. Wilson judged the bounce extremely well. Now just look at this ball, dangerous one. Behind the defenders, in front of the keeper. It's a great attacking ball that. Dow's corner, met strongly by Wilson. Shannon did well. He's running up. In goes Jackson! 2-1 to Hibbs! What an impact he's having on the match! 40 minutes gone. Terrific ball played in here by William Miller, but look at the space that in Jackson found in that far post area. He just was picked up, a downward, precise header, and Gorham could do nothing. Well, Chalky Scott looks on as his team comes back again. Scott Wilson for Rangers. Now McInnes. Trying to thread one through there, but Robertson on the run. Wasn't such a bad ball out for McInnes. Apologises to David Robertson. The goal kick from Jim Layton brings an incredible first half to an end. Key man in that opening 45 minutes was Darren Jackson for Hibbs, the creator of their first goal in 21 minutes going past Andy Gordon setting up Keith Wright and then the scorer of their second, a good downward header from Willie Miller's cross. In between, Ian Ferguson shot one home with the aid of a deflection for Rangers but a tough task ahead for the champions at half time. It's Rangers 1, Hibernian 2.
Eric Bo Anderson has been introduced for the second half of the match at the expense of Greg Shields. A very attacking move made by manager Walter Smith. The well, Herbs set us off in the second half and they know they're going to have a very tough task ahead. Rangers introducing Anderson to join McCoy's and Lodrup up front. And the man going to the wide right hand side is Derek McInnes, the place vacated by young Greg Shields. So Rangers going with Gascoigne and Ferguson in the midfield, in the centre of midfield. Good ball in cut off well by Goff. That's McInnes. McCoist holding off Millen. Hips a possession though. Andy Dow doing a good job on this left hand side for Hips. Goff's clearance was straight back where it came from. that drift on he knew there was no hips player there just gas going now and lots of space in the middle of the field Wilkins goes to close him down here's Ferguson another away it was by Hunter Goff now to Anderson there by Wilkins no drop on the right hand side for the moment he did a lot of good work in the first half he's skipping away from Shannon interception by Wilkins again that's down to Jackson bad tackle by Wilson on Jackson well, the young man going in in uncompromising fashion from the rear Dow playing it up and right through him went <laughs> Wilson Jackson the victim Shannon trying to get that beyond McInnes for Dow. Well, these opening stages of the second half crucial to the fortunes, I think, of both sides. Rangers very anxious to get back in terms quickly. Here's Gas going now to Ferguson. He's very powerful and strong coming forward like this. Supported well on the left hand side by Robertson. Excellent save by Leighton. So calm there. Well, Robertson supporting well as he has done throughout the match for Rangers. Leighton, no option to turn that over. Hibbs want to make a substitution before this corner is taken. The referee has now. No, I thought he'd okayed that, but he's still allowing the play to continue. And this gas going again, changing direction. Very ambitious. So Ian Cameron is the hips player waiting to come on. There's a hips player struggling and sadly for hips it's Darren Jackson. Jackson had that neck injury remember in the first half. And he flagged the distress signal to the dugout after his first involvement in the play. Unable to continue. Ian Cameron formerly of St. Martin Aberdeen and Patrick Thistle comes on an experienced player. to right impeded there by Craig Moore Keith Wright very adept at that kind of turn at pace he's Andy Dow Cameron gives him an option ahead he used as a decoy Craig Moore's header time and space for Ferguson and Gascoigne Promising this for Rangers. Gascoigne measuring the pass, low drop, cut up well by Miller. Excellent tackle by Willie Miller. The Rangers fans rising hopefully for a penalty there, but that was excellent defending by the Hibs fullback. And here's Keith Wright in behind goal. What a good breakaway again by Hibs. Keith Wright's pace, the problem for Rangers. The early ball released there for Keith Wright on the inside right channel. Played in by Willie Miller, who's doing well for Hibbs. He had a look to see where Goff was. On his weaker side, the right for the shot. Wilson to Anderson. That's good play. 
Low drop. Excellent goalkeeping again by Leighton. Ferguson opening the play out to Lodrum again. And shot inside by Dow. Go outside right. It's Cameron. Excellent tackle by young Scott Wilson. But the intentions of Dow and Moore breaks in the back. Game being played, amazing tempo now as Gascoigne threads it through and Anderson's pace negated by the anticipation of Leighton. Oh, by Lodo requiring some attention to that left leg left the field Robertson Anderson this is McInnes well managed that of the game so well the Rangers but finding this touch deserting him rather in the second half Ferguson picks out Robertson is still away up the left hand side. Here's Anderson in space. The gap is opened up. Anderson again. A live drop and a great chance for Rangers. And look at the determination there on the part of these Hibs defenders. Throwing bodies in front of the ball there to make blocks inside the area. They're so determined here. Good work here by Anderson. Trying to get into a scoring position. That was blocked. Look at this pace of the two men coming across. Willie Miller was one of them. So Rangers corner kick being taken by Gascoigne. Headed off the goal line. What a rescue job that was by Ian Cameron. Gascoigne plates it in again. The pressure remains on the Hibs defence. Low drop. Outside him is Moore. Low drop again. Queuing up in the centre. It really had to come. Came from the coist. Equaliser from the coist. Well, the pressure was mounting in such ferocious fashion. Really, this was inevitable. The player getting there was McCoist. An excellent header. And there was nothing Hibs could do about it this time. Good ball in from Lodrum once again. McCoist charging through the rocket players to get to the ball first. And that's the equal as the goal record for the Scottish League. 264 goals he scored. The same total as Gordon Wallace. He's now coaching at Dundee United. So one more for the record. And he'll want to have that this afternoon, you can be sure of that. This guy's going again. Finding a gap to go through. Robertson. He's been fouled there by Wilkins, a free kick it is to Rangers. Gas going over the ball. Hibbs want to charge him. Waiting with a full stretch. Oh, I wonder if he would have got to this, but it couldn't have been any closer. Swerving just beyond the post. Well, Leighton was so far across, I think he had that covered. See from this angle how close it was. And Leighton was right across. Wilson up well. That's Millen. Will retain any ambition to win this or simply try and settle for the draw. Moore's header was a good one. Here's Scott Wilson. Loud. Back it comes to McInnes. Here's Gascoigne. Ferguson. Trying that. Reverse ball in towards Anigo Anderson. 
Robertson who made a good run. Cross goes Scott Wilson. Goff wants the freedom to keep going forward to join the attack. Depending on the youngsters, the 19-year-old Wilson, the 20-year-old Moore at the back. There's Lodra. Now Gascoigne. Still in possession. delightful play it was by Gascoigne his presence of mind and awareness was amazing the block was made by Leighton but there was McCoist 265 lead goals the record this came right against Wilson good running again by Dow red by Goff Cameron's pass, a good one, here's Keith Wright, now Harper, on the far side is McAllister, in the way for Hicks was Robertson, possession retrieved there by Craig Moore, and a lot of time here for Gascoigne to create, now Anderson, clearance came from Millen, Wilson leaves it to Laudra. Ferguson, Laudra. One made again by Anderson. Very anxious to make an impression, I think. Block from Willem. Interception made easily there by Gascoigne. Ian Ferguson Lodrup goes inside again he has Anderson winning in the middle with McCoist Anderson Lodrup again he's onside genius again from Lodrup well that surely settles out there's been a very hard he started this all by himself in here with this great drinking run linked so well with Bo Anderson the pass found him onside he just made it and that's a very very adroit finish again Lord of scoring record this season very impressive, that's his 10th of the season on the far side is Robertson and Moore Ferguson's pass picks out Robertson on the run. McCoy's come short. Ball breaks down for Rangers, allowing Ian Cameron to show his ability coming forward. McAllister on the right. Taking on Ferguson. The chance on for McGinley! Very simple goal for him. Sandy Miller delivered the cross. The Rangers defence was posted missing. And Pat McGinley heads hips third. The look how easily this happened. It's turned back there by McAllister. Miller pumped the ball across. Look at the space again for Pat McGinley. All on his own. Well, a very big weakness flagged up by him. That's two far post balls resulting in goals for Hibs well is there to be a dramatic finish good play this by Ferguson he may have to go all the way himself the cover was good for Hibs McAllister Millen picks out Cameron Harper quick enough here's Dow Chance is running out now for Hibbs. Good effort there in a turn by Keith Wright. That was very close. And the Rangers 
defence again, living dangerously here. Andy Dow making a good contribution once again, fighting this across, flicked on towards Keith Wright on the tongue. Keith Wright challenging well. There's Robertson back defending. The player met off stoppage time. And there's Harper. Across it comes from Miller there to Shannon. They have to get the ball forward quickly, Hibbs. Headed away was by Gore. That's Millen. Now Harper. The Hibs offer something before the finish. Shannon in possession. No doubt. And the momentum of that move from Hibs breaks down. It may be the last chance. Referee Heddle is checked with his linesman. Looks as though it's going to be too late, and that reaction the crowd reflects. Things happening elsewhere, I think. Walter well, Smith's not happy, he did his job, he scored. But the final whistle goes, and Rangers have won the points. Thanks to Ali McCoyce, who pulled them back with a 2-1 deficit at half-time, with two splendid opportunities goals to take his record. But the league goes to 265. It's unlikely to be challenged imminently, that's for sure. Another record for the Rangers striker. But much more important for him this afternoon, I'm sure, is the fact that effectively he did the damage which won the game in the end. But Rangers helped by Brian Lundgren with the end. And Rangers had to withstand some nervous closing minutes thanks to Pat McGinley's headed goal. But Rangers, relentless attacking play, pays off in the end. Rangers 4. Have any entry?